What's going on guys? It's your boy Don Squally. Um, I'm here with a new video, man. I was looking at some rims over the last couple weeks. I was really into getting some new rims, some nice. I was looking at some, uh, I wanted to keep these tires. Um, so I was looking at some 18 by 9 rims. Um, and you know what? I, I, I almost bought them. I almost had a great deal, but I just said, you know what? I, over the last few days, I just, uh, I've been really getting into... <laughs> I bought a few performance things for the Altima, small things. Um, so I said, you know what, now that all the small things are out of the way, I already have a nice set of rims and tires. So I decided to that I'm just going to put that money that I was going to buy rims with and, you know, maybe uh, get some headers, uh, maybe a wide pipe, something like that. So anyways, I have these rims and tires, which are um, 350Z rims and... and uh, I have Goodyear and Michelin tires. There's two of each on here. So uh, for those of you who are following me, you'll know all about these. What I got the deal on them. Uh, I plasti dipped them. So basically, what I want to do for next summer is switch up the colors. Now the plasti dip offer a lot of like blaze colors, different colors. Um, I was gonna redo them black again, but I kind of like the gold. I saw a few um, a few SERs online with the gold rims and I think that uh, if I can get that color with these that that would be awesome and <laughs> it would really complement my car as it is uh, and also I'm going to be putting on the SER front bumper and a few other modifications so I just I think the gold would be a nice touch for the summer I wanted to switch it up so what I'm going to do is just a step by step removing the plasti dip preparing the rims I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set up my paint booth I got a couple tarps, uh, some big cardboard boxes, and a vent fan that I'm going to connect. Um, so in this video, yeah, you guys are going to get all that. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. But uh, yeah, man, that's it. Don Squally, let's get it started. So uh, a couple hours later, I got all the Plasti Dip off, um, the rims just came out of the garage so it's a little bit cold, I had to put a heater on it to get the uh, Plasti Dip a little bit more pliable to bring off. Um, so what I want to do now is clean up the back of the rim. Uh, I have a wire brush which I'm going to use to get in between the tire and get the rest of the uh, access dip off. I also have a wire wheel on a grinder. I'm going to test that on the back first and see if this is going to be like too much. Um, if it is, then I'll probably just stick with something like this uh, used by hand. And then I'm going to get a little wire ball uh, with a drill and just clean out the inside here. I don't want any Plasti Dip left on the rims because uh, as soon as you paint over that, you know, the stuff uh, it could potentially peel off. So uh, we're going to get into that now. and. Uh, Alright, so basically what I did was I took my wire wheel and my wire brush. I got in around all these edges and got as much of the Plasti Dip as I could. Uh, then I spun the wheel around. I had to wet the wheel for this because, uh, you know, brakes produce uh, asbestos and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So I wet the wheel. I took the grinder wheel to the inside to get off uh, as much of the Plasti Dip as I can. Um, spraying it on the front of the tire peels off as it should I'm telling you if you don't bag the inside of your tire properly you're gonna get a lot of overspray and it's a pain in the ass to get off um, just uh, FYI uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Dremel and there's a lot of road rash along the outside of these rims so what I'm gonna do is uh, find the right attachment grind it down uh, so it's smooth and then we'll start sanding <clears throat> Okay, so just grinded down the 
all the road rash. Um, there's not too much on this one. Oh, there's some good one. Just grinded it all down with a Dremel to give it a smooth flip, f f flush finish. <laughs> so that when I paint it, there's no uh, flakes or chips or anything. That's a good look. Alright, so now that we're all done with the uh, grinding out of the imperfections along the lip, I've got a couple different <clears throat> wire wheels here. My plan is to get it inside here and uh, get as much of the plasti dip out as I can. So Like, Plasti Dip, oh that worked really good. Wire wheel to get the Plasti Dip out, works great. Um, Plasti Dip seems like a great idea until it's time to do something like this, you know what I mean? Now it just sucks. So yeah, that's working great. Um, So I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna finish this up. Probably run a quick scuff over the whole thing, and then I'm gonna hit it with this 400 grit sandpaper, uh, and then we should be ready for paint. So uh, stay tuned. Well, there it is. Uh, the sanded product uh, took out all the little pits, as you can see sanded them down and next I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do for my paint boost what's up guys uh, alright so here is the uh, makeshift paint booth um, basically what I did is I had a big box and I just opened it up so that I could fit a tire inside and then up here I have a, a big fan um, I need some ventilation down here. I'm gonna use a mask, but I had a big fan. So basically what I did is I just taped uh, Like I don't know I guess like a vent duct going outside. I put some uh, Some bins there to keep the wind from blowing it gets a bit windy out there, but uh, so yeah this basically uh, turns on and uh, I'm hoping that'll exhaust a majority of the fumes out. I've got uh, I'll back up here just got a tarp laid down for the ground. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that's going to keep the paint dust down. And uh, we'll see what happens. So now I'm just going to tape up the wheels. And uh, get some cards on there. And then we'll be get ready for primer. Alright, so what I decided to do. Got that mask on. Got have, what I decided to do is just do the center caps for the time being. Uh, the reason I don't want to do them on the rims is just because I don't want paint to get stuck in the crack and if the center caps need to come out, I don't want the paint flaking and stuff. So what I'm going to do just uh, for a test is I'm going to prime a uh, coat of gold clear just so I can get my technique down and then uh, we're going to go from there. So here we go. One coat. All right, what's going on, guys? We're back. Uh, just finished priming the center caps. I had the heater on them, so they're all nice and dried up. Not sure if you can see that, but uh, I'm going to start the painting for the center caps. Uh, my paint. I decided to go with the Rust-Oleum uh, metallic gold. Um, now, I know what a lot of people are probably thinking. I did a lot of research uh, before I bought this paint. This isn't actually the finish that it comes out in. Um, that would look mad cheesy if it was. However, uh, I did see the finish that this paint will produce and I like it. And it's the best that I have found uh, for what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now is just lay the first coat, very light coat. Uh, we're going to let that dry, lay a second, third, and then we're going to go to clear. So, uh, here we go. All 
All right, so these are the center caps uh, done in the gold. Uh, I gotta run back to the store. For some reason, I have a feeling I might have got the indoor gold instead of the outdoor, uh, which might pose a durability issue. Um, I'm just gonna primer up the rim. As you can see, I taped around to block overspray. And then I use the old deck of card trick to kind of cut the rim off from the tire. And we are gonna prime. Alrighty folks, so there's two coats of primer. Um, I went to the store and checked out the paint options and this is the most durable option. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit it with some heavy clear afterwards and hopefully that will be durable enough for me to not have any paint chipping issues in the future. So. There goes nothing. Alright, so I put down just a nice light coat. I'm going to let that dry for about uh, 20 minutes. Go get some food and we're going to drop another one on it. Coat number two. We're going to go a little harder this time. Not too hard because I don't want to get any uh, any runs. <clears throat> but we're going to put a nice solid coat this time. Make sure that I'm getting inside this lip too. Well folks, I tried my best to give you the whole experience. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that because the whole second half of my videos, uh, about an hour's worth of footage, is all this. Yeah, so um, this is the camera that was recorded on, Canon PowerShot Elf. That thing is a piece of fucking shit as far as I'm concerned. Not sure what it is, SD card or what. But I'm not impressed, so I'm going to finish the rest of this video on my iPhone. Sorry, guys. Well, here I am reporting to you live from my iPhone. Uh, anyways, we're not going to get into that. This is the finished product. I'm extremely happy with the way it turned out. Like I said, as soon as I hit it with that clear, completely changed the look of the gold. Um, I have a lot of big plans this year, uh, this summer, so I'm going to be making a blog about that. Uh, for those of you who are subscribed to me already, uh, leave a comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate your input all the time. For those of you who are not subscribed, please do. The address is right here, youtube.com backslash Denali. Subscribe button should be somewhere around here. And that's it, man. Um, basically, it was a fun project. I just wanted to change the look of my car. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next year, man. I may want a different color. I may want new rims. But for the time being, this is awesome. It turned out fantastic. Um, yeah, so sorry I couldn't bring you guys the whole video. Uh, you didn't miss much. Just ap ap uh, applying some clear coat. And that was about it, and just some shit talking. Um, so this is pretty much the gist of it. Um, like I said, I appreciate your guys' input all the time. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Don Squally, I'm fucking pissed off that my piece of shit Canon camera didn't work. And that, I'll tell you what, folks, that's how electronics get broken. So anyways... I didn't put the uh, center caps on just because I want everything to cure properly before I do that. And that's it, man. YouTube.com backslash Denali. What up?